This is Boxing Talk A five seven six. Um, I recently uh watched uh my guy seventy eight uh uh video on Roy Jones. Um, if he's is he or is he not going to retire? Um, I remember doing a video on on Roy Jones that I think Roy Jones should retire. I think I did it after he got knocked out the last time. And I'm gonna piggyback off of what seventy eight said. Man, Roy, man, <laughs> please retire, Roy. I mean, you have nothing else to prove. I mean, nothing else to prove. You're going, you're going to go down as one of the greatest fighters that ever put on a pair of gloves. Um, you went from 160 to winning the heavyweight championship of the world. That was a great, great, awesome achievement. I wish you would have hung it up after that, but... You was a man of your word, and you promised Antonio Tarver you will fight him after you won the um, heavyweight title. Antonio Tarver showed up at the press conference, said, you said you was going to fight me. Roy Jones said, yep, I will fight you. He was a man of his word. He fought Antonio Tarver. It was a close, close fight. I still have Roy Jones winning, but it was a really close fight. I have no problems with people saying Antonio Tarver won or, or it, it was a draw. Um, and then you listen to the fans. And you came back and fought Tony Tarver again and got knocked out in the second round. Um, I knew it was hard. It'd be hard for anyone of your stature to retire after that knockout to Antonio Tarver. So you came back, fought, fought Glenn Johnson, got knocked out again. And ever since then, ever since the Tarver uh, knockout, you've been knocked out, I believe. Three other times since the Tarver knocked out, knockout. Uh, Roy, hey, sometimes I know the warrior and fighters do not want to hang it up. You say you, you you always look at like, man, I can do it. I can still do it. And that's what well, the same thing Muhammad, Muhammad Ali believed. He believed he can still do it. He said. One of his uh, people around him said, Muhammad Ali, he told Muhammad Ali, why don't you retire? Muhammad Ali said, no, because I'm still looking good. And he said, Muhammad Ali was looking in the mirror at that time. He said, and Muhammad Ali, the mirror told Muhammad Ali that he can still do it because his body was still looking fairly good to him. And that's and he kept fighting. And you can, I don't know what damage has already been done you know, due due to the other knockouts that you had, you know, it's, it's amazing. And it's, it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a blessing that nothing is wrong with you of not, I mean, now, I mean, you're not slowing, slurring your words. I, I see you on HBO, uh, commentating your faculties are all there. You're still sharp. You, you can break down fights very well with competent, uh, being competent about it. It doesn't seem like anything, is wrong neurologically with you, which is amazing. And I think you should hang it up. You know what I'm saying? You gave us some memorable fights at the peak of your career. No one had the, the, the reflexes you have by far. Roy Jones, you had the best reflexes I ever seen in boxing and probably in sports history. And like 78 said, when those reflexes decline, those, you know, seconds of you missing people, missing punches on you, they were able, now they're able to land them. And it's just a sign that, you know, it's just time to hang it up. Um, <clears throat> hey, a lot of athletes, you know, don't want to walk away from the sport. You know, sometimes we walk away from this, walk away from the sport broken up, you know, uh, a lot of fighters walk away from the sport, man, and they, and they just bad off, you know, they, they, they're really, really in bad, bad shape right now. You have your faculties. Uh, there's nothing, you know, wrong with you, uh, with your brain right now. And the, 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 like 78 said, the guys around you that have money invested in you, those guys are telling you to retire. Now it's, it's it's unusual for you know people around boxers that can make money off of them telling them to retire, and I think you should I think you should listen to them. I think you should listen to them 
and all I think they just trying to protect you. They obviously care about you because they're not caring about how much money they can make off of you because they can make some more money off of you. And you have kids, you have sons, you know, that need their father, you know, for them as they get older, for more guidance. Because, you know, we always guiding our I got kids. We always guiding our kids throughout their lives, no matter if they get grown or whatever. We still giving them advice. So, Roy Jones, this is Boston Talk, you know, A576. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to just retire and continue giving us great commentating on HBO because I love your boxing knowledge and how you break down the fights. And, yes, this is Boston Talk, A576. I'm out.